Hello, are you thinking of opening a school? Then in this video, I'm going to talk about the 13 shocking mistakes that most school entrepreneurs make and how you can avoid them. My name is Amol Arora. I'm the managing director of Shemrock and Shemfer Group of Schools. We are a chain of 650 preschools, primary schools and 10 plus 2 schools spread across India, Nepal and Bangladesh. So what are these common mistakes and how can you avoid them? So I'm going to share these on the basis of my three decades of experience in this sector. So because I don't want your school to ever close down. So if you're setting up a school with an intent that you want to help the community, you want to give yourself a good quality of life, then this is the video that you need to watch before starting a school. Number one, make your business model. Now a lot of people think, why should I make a business model for a school? It, it forces you to think. Now there are many templates available online. You can just search for business plan template and you'll get the template and you can use any one of the many ones. So search for some PDF file, download it and see which ones you like. See what happens is a, a business plan, when you create a business plan which asks questions like your cash flows, how, how will you do the marketing, who is your competition, what kind of challenges will you face. It, it asks some uncomfortable questions. Now what happens with that is it's better to face these things before starting a school rather than having invested your time your money and then facing these challenges so always make a business plan it will help you understand what if you do you get more admissions than expected how will you increase the capacity of your school will you build some more rooms will you take another property on rent secondly what if you get less admissions than expected then how will you manage the deficit because there might be a cash deficit uh, uh, deficit initially because what happens is the break even may, may happen when you expect it but again things are beyond your control it's not like advertisement where you pay the money and the ad will come tomorrow in the newspaper when, when revenues are dependent on admissions which means that it is dependent on the other person of the parent choosing your school the that which you directly don't control you can influence the decision through good marketing through good sales a good product impress the parents but you cannot dictate it you can't control that so be careful make your business plan that's the first uh, solution i have for you and thoroughly evaluated second mistake people make is the open in the wrong location now look opening in the wrong location is like driving a car which doesn't have even a third gear and you're trying to enter a car race see the location if the location is wrong then of course what's going to happen is no matter how hard you try you will just not get the um, you know the attract the right population now what kind of mistakes like it could be far away from your target population it could be in a congested area the approach could be there there are many many things about this so if you want to learn more please come for my webinar i do a webinar on how to open a successful school the link is given below register yourself for it so that i can tell you what things to keep in mind while choosing the right location now either you can learn from me i'll tell you what are the factors to consider you can ask me live i'll answer your questions live in the webinar or you run your school after five years you make realize i opened in the wrong location and by that time you've lost your energy your enthusiasm your money so the choosing the wrong location is is a huge mistake now these are and could be as simple as you open an area where there's a lot of competition and you also opened a similar school or you opened a school in an area where there was that your target population of young couples was not there so there are many other things people open near industrial areas and afterwards they find out that this was a wrong location so there are many things to keep in mind it's tricky and it's better to learn first before jumping into the pool so don't open the school in the wrong location third mistake people make is the rental agreement sometimes people like a property very much and they are very keen to take this property on rent and they do a very short agreement or they don't put the proper clauses in the agreement which secures them because after sometimes what what may happen after a year your school does well the landlord can ask you to vacate if it's only a one year agreement or there are other clauses in the agreement which can ensure which can somehow uh, allow the landlord to trouble you and we've seen many times the people who set up a school did, did very well the landlord start getting greedy saying oh they've got 100 children multiplied by number of fee but i'm only getting this much amount and he's collecting so much revenue what if i open my school here so he starts troubling the, the, the tenant, the person who's running the school. And I've seen that many times. But you can secure that by doing a proper agreement uh, checked by professionals. So do, please check your rent, rent agreement that it should be secure, it should be secure enough and at least do it for a period of five years. Because when it's too short, then you also in double mind how much should I invest in this property because tomorrow after a year I may have to vacate it. So always go for at least three years bare minimum but ideally at least a five year agreement. 
fourth uh, mistake people make is they open a school for the wrong area so that means either they open on a very large property that means they are paying too much money as rental and they find it difficult to reach a break even point or they open in a very small area as opposed to what should be the ideal area for a school whether it's a play school a primary or a secondary school and what happens is if it's too small an area the parents just don't get impressed and they think what is what am i paying money for the other schools have better infrastructure so the area of your school has to be appropriate in terms of how you are positioning why you are positioning again to have a better understanding you i think i would recommend that you join me in my webinar i do it live and of course i will answer all your questions about your area so you can check with me how much area you have and whether your school will do well or not so don't forget to register it the link is given below the fifth mistake people make is they do not set up impressive interiors what they do is they go to the market and they just buy furniture from the local vendors and what happens is it, it's very similar to all schools when all schools are the same they look the same. so they look the same how do people make a decision let me tell you how when i am going to purchase something and if i see five things which are almost similar and i don't i can't tell one apart from the other for example when i go to buy potatoes i buy the cheapest ones so what happens is your infrastructure is your way of telling people that you are different so what people normally do is people think and as hindi say aisa hi hota hai they set up a similar school to what is already there and people say you are just like everybody else and your interiors are not impressive it tells them you are just like everyone else and parents will just ask for a discount so don't don't do that i'll ensure that your interiors are impressive and i'll if when you come to my webinar i'll show you some very impressive interiors that will in, inspire you to create something interesting and you can do it with very little money the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just a little extra six mistake is curriculum people don't go for a structured curriculum they just try and pick up activities things on the internet and they hope it will work so, so this is like this is you just pick up some activity do it in the class children have fun they enjoy it they don't enjoy it then you pick up some new activity today because of the internet we have access to a lot of content but the problem is because it's not all together imagine if you're preparing for a serious exam like iit right and you start picking up a youtube video from here something from there will you get will you be able to prepare for the exam for the entrance exam no because sometimes it will be up down some there will be gaps in your learning similarly the school children and early childhood education also it, this it's a it's a proper foundation years for a child's life so it's very very important that you go with a curriculum and pick up a curriculum a researched curriculum which will work for your area sometimes people pick up curriculums from the west uh, the problem with those western curriculums is they are not suited for the developing countries uh, so they are more child centric they they five or six 10 uh, children per teacher the teachers qualifications are much more they are, the teachers are paid very well so the the ability of teachers their passion their drive is much more than in the developing countries where costs are very less the salaries are very less so as a result such curriculums don't work very well in the developing world and what ha also happens is it doesn't impress parents because they are mostly child centered so child feels that I, for 15 days i just want to do painting that's curriculum will allow because that's how they are structured but in our part of the world the parents want that children should start learning they should start speaking english they'll complain that other schools the children have reached this level why are you lagging behind so i i don't mean to put stress on the children but the same what to, to teach the the milestones can be achieved in a fun filled manner so th there are good curriculums in india so pick up the one that you feel will work for your area not just don't do a hit and try number 7 is mistake people make is the quality of teachers they try and hire the cheapest teachers that they can find and as a result the whole system it collapses you might have great curriculum you might have great infrastructure but the end of the day your quality will be known by the quality of teachers that are there in your school if your teachers are not good they cannot deliver good quality so ensure that you hire good teachers and you invest in their training as well so so dry, get that passion out of them so there are a lot of people who say sir i don't get good teachers it's okay work with whatever you have locally look for passion look for te uh, teachers who may not have the degrees but they are passionate about their work and of course with your constant orientation tell them why you opened a school tell them what what is different about this school be with them motivate them and you can get the same teacher to deliver at a much better point eighth mistake people make is they don't keep a software the people think it's an expensive investment so it's very very important that you invest in a good software for managing your school today data is the new oil you know that's what mukesh amani said that data is the new oil so 
invest in a good software and you can search for there are many softwares for managing a school just search for the word school management software or school ERP software in your area in fact more than google.com go to google maps and search for this because then you'll find out companies which are in around your location who can give you good support ask for testimonials check which other schools they are giving software to take a feedback from them and then manage your you can manage your school more efficiently including sending fee reminders photographs whatever the child is doing pictures instead of using whatsapp where the children web if you use a broadcast list many parents don't receive it and if you use a group then parents start communicating amongst each other which you don't want so ensure that you have a good home school communication software number nine mistake people make is when they launch their school they don't do a launch event they think i don't have the budget or i don't have the staff to manage a launch a big event so let me postpone the event we'll do it later on see everyone talks about a new thing in the, in the community school is something which the whole community is impacted by it's like if a new movie is released nobody talks about it after four years but initially when the movie launches a lot of word of mouth right people telling each other have you seen the movie uh, children telling their parents we want to watch that movie but, so this is what a launch event does when you do a new launch event instantly people tell five other people have you seen that school which has come up in our area so it's very very important that you use this word of mouth and do a launch event in your area don't miss out on this factor in some budget to do a launch event to market it and actually do the event and all this you can use the hands of people you can ask your friends family members to contribute that day if you don't have enough teachers right now number 10 is the marketing people don't think don't understand marketing they set up a school and they think I've got a great product and parents will automatically come to my school. It doesn't happen that way. You have to create awareness amongst parents about your school stage one. You have to tell them why they should come to your school. When they are looking for a school for their child, they will most likely visit four or five schools. The role of marketing is to ensure that they are that your school is in those top four or five. So through the medium, you have to different medium, whether you use outdoor print advertisements online advertisements you have to convince them that visiting your school is worth their time and most likely this would be the school of their choice for them so do invest and in marketing and learn marketing as well and we are seeing this shift from uh, offline marketing to online marketing which is happening and even and people used to say this sir my school is in a small town digital marketing doesn't work in fact in small towns people have less Uh, uh distractions they have time and they spend they're spending more and more time on their mobile phones people are spending 3 to 4 hours on their mobile phones watching instagram facebook and link on youtube so, and the rules of marketing remain the same wherever your customer is be there so with digital marketing you can reach your tar- target audience with a much cheaper price and the real powerful thing is if your digital marketing and your offline marketing happen together it becomes very very powerful so if a person sees an ad on facebook and suddenly they are driving and they see your a hoarding of your school as well it creates a permanent uh, impact on their mind so learn digital learn digital marketing and learn marketing in general that is this is important for any entrepreneur just being a good educator saying i'll i will teach the best and through word of mouth uh i'll get admissions yes but that will take time so whenever any of my branches say sir uh, i get 80% of admissions through uh, word of mouth it tells me the marketing is a bit weak so i said those 80% are going to come anyways since you're delivering good quality education but what about more you want more than that so that is where marketing is is always required to refresh the parents the, the, the your, your brand's name in the parents mind and number 11 is people don't understand technology what they think is that i'm going to now invest uh we at our schools are, are are open and we want to teach but technology is something that scares a lot of people then they don't invest in hardware software teaching aids uh videos and so understand technology it's very very important today to be an entrepreneur in any field that you want to be aware of what what technology is both software and hardware and how it works for your area what are the various options available at different investment points what would make sense in my area so not only does it create a wow factor amongst parents but lot of technology can help children learn very easily to give you an example easy example if you are teacher is teaching concept of a volcano she'll spend 15 20 minutes drawing a volcano on the chalkboard and the child has no idea what that is instead just opening a video of a volcano with all the lava coming in 
is so impressive the child will never forget in fact he or she will be asking questions about the volcano ma'am how hot is it what is this lava is it a liquid will it solidify so imagine how technology can be so so powerful technology can be through technology you can give homework to the to the parents uh, to, to do in the morning you can give messages to parents through, through tech so understand technology understand the what where the technology is going to go what future things are coming up we have now uh, iot te- augmented reality virtual reality they're all coming into education and you don't want your school to be left behind so now this is a time to understand and grasp to- technology into your school if you're thinking that I'm, i can run a school offline gone are the days we can see every aspect of our life is getting impacted by technology through the apps now this education is is no is is no exception as well number 12 is quality now what happens is people set up everything but they fail to maintain quality now what is quality quality means whatever you have promised your parents should be delivered every day every period every class by every teacher now how do you ensure that you do you can if you depend on people to do that people will always miss, make mistakes human beings always operate like this sometimes they are in a good mood sometimes they are not so how do you ensure quality through putting systems so systems are very very important systems ensure repeatability ensure that whatever you promise a parents keeps happening otherwise if systems are lacking then quality will keep dipping and you will always be in a fire fighting mode you'll always be looking at new and new challenges so people don't put focus on this they don't uh, realize that how important te- uh, quality is and how important systems are so start building systems in your schools so that you are able to deliver quality education the next final mistake number 13 is deciding whether franchising or going th- themselves so there are two ki- kinds of uh, players in every market one is the franchise the branded schools and there are the local schools which one do you want to be do you want all the support the curriculum the brand the support there are many options as well and if you want to know learn about that please join me in my webinar which i do on how to open a successful school the link is given just below and i'll t- i'll tell you about what are the pros and cons and how, what franchising can help you with why do people choose it and then you can make an informed decision that whether this makes sense for you or not you can decide later on but at least be understand it because there are very very common mistakes people make they think franchising is only right to use a brand franchising is only this it is a different concept altogether to understand it completely i would recommend you come to my webinar and i'll explain why it makes sense you can see whether it's right for you if it's right for you please go ahead do that you get all the support you can manage with your expenses are less your you can manage with less number of staff members how your staff salaries go down your purchasing costs go down how your revenues can increase and then you can decide or if not set up your own school but at least be aware of what it is so if you like this video you know what to do like this video so that you i i it motivates me to create more content like this and also subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon so that whenever i set up a new video you are the first one to be informed and I, and if you have any questions if there's any mistake i've, I've missed out on do you think i've missed out on something please do write in the comments below and i'll see if i've missed out on some some mistake that school owners make and i'll try and cover that in my next video as well so thank you all for listening again if you enjoyed it do like this button and i'll see you in my webinar on how to open a successful school See you inside.